Karim is so nice, so he is hosting us for two nights, and we're flying tomorrow to Johannesburg. This is the best view in Tunisia, guys. Look at look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Last day. Playing golf in a house. Not a bad way to end my Tunisian trip. To do a COVID test. Alright, bye Tunisia. Still filming with my phone at the moment. Going to the airport to see where my babies are. Got three babies. Got three babies waiting for me. Okay. I got it back. I got it back. After one hour of negotiating at the airport, I got it back. They almost were not going to give it back to me. I got it back after one hour. Thank you, Karim. He was making calls to everyone. Thank you so much. Oh, my camera's in drawings are back. Maxi Tunisia. Au revoir, Aisha. Hello, my name is Antonia. Welcome on board, yeah. Emirates. Where are we flying to? We're flying to Dubai. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Guess what's back? Well, the good thing about cameras is they have this little flip screen so I can see my face. When I vlog like this, the front cameras of iPhones are great, but the back cameras, not as good as a real camera. But anyway, it's 1.15 a.m. local time. It's a five hour layover. So I try as hard as possible to stay awake. And the minute I get on the airplane, I sleep and I wake up in the morning in Johannesburg. So otherwise I'll be so jacked like less than 13 hours until Georgia finally reuniting with her mother. I think she's very excited. Mm. This is, I believe, the most private area of the whole Dubai airport. And we're spending another three hours here. 11 hours until Georgia reunite with her mother again. We brought a friend over because due to the pandemic, they have almost... Who needs a studio when you just have a... Computer and a mic. Content creating is not as difficult as you think. I'm honestly so tired, I cannot work, I cannot edit. So I'm going through my music. It's not my music, they are my potential music for my YouTube, YouTube vlogs. Come on. All right, I found a good one. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom. The flight is so full. I'm we worse. made a decision. We chose the four seat row. And we chose this seat and this seat, thinking that no one would choose this and this. Someone's probably <laughs> gonna sit between us. I just asked the guy if it's a full flight. He said yes. I must say, I feel like international traveling has resumed to normal. And now maybe we are the lucky ones. Yeah, fingers crossed. Let's not speak too soon. It's a good sign when they start putting up the overhead compartments. The guy lied to me. It's not a full flight. I was so scared. My neck is gonna break. But just a quick tip, never use airplane water to brush your teeth or wash your face. Always ask for drinkable water. Two more hours until Georgia reunite. If you think the 
about it, it's actually pretty stupid. We're in Africa, but then we flew to Asia and then now we flew back to Africa. But then there were no direct flights in Tunisia. So that's why a six hour flight turned into a 20 hour flight. Like you come back, you start hearing this in African accent, and it's like, ah, I'm here. Reunited anytime. Oh, I see her. <laughs> You must have seen us wear these sunglasses because we absolutely love them. We designed them because we think that people shouldn't pay that much for a pair of quality sunglasses. They are 100% UV protected, polarized, and free international shipping. And if you're looking for a very light pair, Joburg would be great for you. Or if you're looking for very durable, tough sunglasses, then Venture, our first pair, would be ideal for you. See, these are called Joburg because we named them after Georgia. And those are called Venture because they are tough and they are Mr. Always Exploring. Right now we're offering you guys a Black Friday special which is 20% off site-wide today, Saturday and Sunday. Wear them and explore Africa with us. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot guys.